flyweight division matchup. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. The weight and the hype gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Ooh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Misses with that punch. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. But a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. He blocks the shot. Over and over, he's getting to this clinch position. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big ball for punch lands. Now we get back to range. Back and forth we go! yet another uppercut, so those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. With He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Single collar tie now. Big punch to the body. Oh, eats a knee. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Right hook to the body. Ten seconds to go in round one. Nice punch lands over the top.
round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Chip? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Nice kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. There's no tell on that leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch land. <laughs> Slips the punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just missing on the uppercut there. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. I think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, big punch lands. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being... Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Some nice back and forth action here. Big right hook coming is blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice punch there by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. There. Big kick lands. Just misses there with the left. Right hand punch from the clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! All right, round three, coming up next. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it the time. done to block the strike and counter with the jab. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Out of range with that one. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, tag him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make it. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Immediately gets the underhook. Ooh, oh, big knee. Look at how he turned. 
turns his hip over when he throws oh. that kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. A good series of strikes by him there. Great. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need that is it. That's it. He got him! What a performance! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rivlian is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout, Brandon, the assassin, baby! He's smiling ear to ear.